I've had a couple of people ask me why I cut uh, my gear blank uh, from the top down. In other words, I move it from the top down, in which case it's basically feeding into the back of the cutter. I mean, <laughs> it seems odd, but in actual fact, um, that's the way I'm doing it. It's feeding into the back of the cutter, so the cutter is coming around like this. And uh, ideally, you'd think, well, if you, if you fed from the bottom up, if the blank came from the bottom up, the cutter would then be pulling down on the blank from the top down all the way, scribing into it. In actual fact, it does make a lot of difference um, because the cutter is still coming in on the side of the blank and, and pulling down on it. It has to pull down to actually do any cutting action. So whether you're feeding up or down, it's not going to make a huge difference, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Um, the question, why do I feed from the top down? I feed from the top down because um, the indexing disc is set up for the tooth position, so obviously the shaft has to be up to do that. Uh, and once you've set it, you bring the blank down through the cutter, get to the bottom, come back up through again, so you're doing a second pass, and then you've got your indexing just coming back up to the pointer again, so that's the reason I do it that way. It's um, simple, and there's not a lot of mucking around. If you feed it the other way, from the bottom up, you can do that, but what it means is that after you've done the cut, you then have to set your indexing position and then lower it all the way back down again and you have to turn the cutter physically out of the way so that you can clear that, that, that uncut position and then you bring it back up. So it makes it more complicated but on a small lathe with a, um, with a you know, very small lathe with a light setup, it might help if you did actually bring it from the, um, from the bottom up. Um, that remains to be seen, but on this particular lay, it, it won't make a difference. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration. This is just a, an old blank. I'll cut a space through from the from the top down the way I would normally do it, and then I'll rotate it and I'll bring it back up from the from the bottom up, and you can see the difference. Okay, so we'll fire her up. Okay, so that's aluminium gear, so that's the way I would normally do it. So I've cut down through from the top down. Alright, now we'll to do it the other way, we'll wind her down. I'll put a bit of texture on there so we know which one was which. And that was the, the one going top down. So now what you would have to do, you would have to, if you do it the other way, you have to lower down the, swing the cutter out the way, lower down the blank until you get clearance. Okay, now we'll turn around, turn around the shaft and we'll cut another position. Doesn't really matter. It's just a demonstration, so I'm not actually cutting a gear as such here. Alright, so now we bring it from the bottom up. Make sure you've got clearance. And I'll be
okay. Now, we were spinning the uh, cutter at 760 RPM. Now, as you can see, coming from the bottom up, you only get the one pass because you now bring up to the indexing disc and then you have to then lower, set that and then lower back down um, without actually doing any cutting. So, you know, it's six and one half does the other. As far as I'm concerned, um, top down works great. You get a, an extra cut on the way back up. As far as the, uh, the result goes, let's have a look, let's turn it around. And you can see that basically there's, there's really no difference. The, uh, both the, uh, the teeth are nicely cut. Um, get the light on a bit better. So you can see that the two spaces are both cut the same, no problem. So that was the one from top down, this is the one from bottom up. Vibration wise there wasn't really much difference at all that I could detect. In fact, if there was any difference it seemed to be slightly worse coming from bottom up, um, the way I could feel it. Um, you know, once again it, it's um, subjective. So there you go, um, you can cut in either direction, um, but for the reasons outlined I always go from top down and uh, yeah. Uh, in this case I did it once again with a collet. Uh, I have noticed a couple of people got onto me that have successfully cut gears with the uh, with the fly cutter in their chuck and their lay that worked okay, so okay, good enough and um, you know on soft metals probably okay but collet's really best but yeah if you only got a chuck well do it with a chuck. Okay well I hope you found that interesting. Catch you next time. See ya.